they're not uh, they're not derogatory. Raw meaning. That well, it's, well, hold uh, on. I don't care about that. I mean, you know me. You've watched my stuff, and we're not no derogatory. We're not. I, I don't want you to hold the person down. I don't. I, want I you don't to, mean that. Yeah, uh, they're not. It's all about softball to us. That's all. And see, that's what they. It's, they yeah. Okay, you're gonna see in a minute here. People are gonna start chiming in. Or they're gonna start up here. I got a countdown, right? Yeah. So that's what they're looking for. They're not looking for this scripted shit that's out there. Right. And if I can get other people, especially the '70s. Right. See, because I've got them from '40s. I've got them '50s. I got '55s. I got one '77 year old guy that actually builds balls, and he does not. He does not. He doesn't hit. Yeah. So if I could send you some got some some bats, and basically a lot of guys would download it from their phone onto a flash drive, send it to me, and they'll they'll, uh, they'll download it from a, onto a flash drive and they'll send it to me, and then I'll cut it up. I'll tell a story, right, that you guys are doing, and I'll tell a story and I'll get it out there, you know. But basically. I would cut you into my videos too. I mean, yeah. if I'm doing a video on a short porch, if I'm doing a video on an onyx, I'm doing a video on micas, y'all guys would be in there hitting those micas. You might have one guy that's hitting that mic in really good, so he's going in my video. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then I would I would listen to all the other things you guys have to say and just give your honest opinion. But I have no problem doing that. You know, I already deal with Paco and David. Paco and David are 60, 65. No, they're out of uh, a, a Georgia. No, they're out of um, yeah, they're out of Georgia, somewhere around there. And they like they like all kinds of bats. You know, the Johnny Bailey, because one of them has a high bat speed and one of low bat speed. Right. So they benefit me. Now, if there was two guys that just masked, I I couldn't use. Them. That's not a team. Probably. Do you have their? I thought you had her in your system. So anyway, that's you know. I sent bats and he, he I said, listen, you know, what do you want me to do? I said, just do your review. Yeah. You know, don't put me in there saying Dave Velasquez sent me these bats and send yourself a back to you. Just do your review. Yeah. So yeah, basically that's that's what uh, I actually wish you could just come out, you know, I know it's pricey, but I wish you could come out and just spend a you know a day or two on this and see what's I would love to do that. And here's the deal too is a lot of guys want to come out and hit with me. And and just just say, hey, let us know what kind of bat we should be swinging. And I was talking to her about this, and Bella too is that that's that'll be hard because what will happen? I know that will take off. I know people will start coming out and start seeing and then talking and just listen to me talk and watch your bats, be watch the way you swing right. and just stuff like that. And then I can say, okay, I had a guy come up from Dallas the other day, and he comes back. I said, "What bat you swing?" He told me that. I'm looking at a swing. I'm going. <laughs> No, no, man. No. Yeah, wrong bat. Get a wrong bat. I, I got to tell you, there was a, uh, uh, let's go. There was a, uh, a, a playing in a tournament in Sacramento. It was a qualifier for this. Anyhow, the uh, a, a guy came up to the Suncoast group, yeah. and he wanted to buy a bat. He knew nothing about bats. He's about 74, 75 years old, but he just wanted a bat brand new. So I ended up talking to him about, well, are you an ounce bat? Are you an envelope? You know, what do you want to do? What what are you, what are you trying to do? You know, and he's just a spray hitter. And I imagine that people like him uh, in their mid-70s or so are going to be a balanced bat kind of guy. There's very few that are really going to be an envelope unless they know what they're doing. He knew nothing about the bat. He ended up turning the bat over to a friend of ours on the, on the game. In the championship games, it's here, swing my bat. Brand spanking new, Suncoast bat. He just took the wrapper off, and I'm thinking, what in the heck are you doing? Never, ever do that. That bat's got to have 100, 150 swings at best, yeah. and that's what somebody good, uh, and, you know, and you're going to take even longer to break that bat in. Yes. And he had no idea whatsoever. He just went out there and did it. Yeah. And the Suncoast rep, and I love her. She, I know her. She, she's a wonderful lady. Uh, but she doesn't know anything about the bats. There's, you know, you got to talk to people about bats and make sure they get the right bats. It's what, what you preach all the well, time. I, I went, the first day I was here, I sat at the Suncoast booth. I had, because I was, I was buying bats, right? So I set my scale up, and I was right there, and I had people watch me and see me because they know me. 
So they come up and see what I'm doing, and I'm grabbing bags and I'm scaling them, the ones I'm going to buy. Right. And they ask me, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, I, that's the way I do it. I don't go by 25, 26, 27. I scale the bags that I'm going to buy. I always carry a scale with me. Yeah. And he goes, and they start picking my brain about what is the best and what I should be doing that is out there. And, and I start saying, he goes, well, this is the best guy I've ever swung. And I said, well, let me have it. So I scaled it for him. I got the end weight, I got the, I got the hand weight, I got the end weight, all those numbers. And I said, okay, here's your, remember this, 16.5, yeah. okay, 9.5. And I said, every bat you, you pick, I said, because that one's gonna crack, it's old school. Okay, that's the bat you need to pick, 16.5. So that's going to have your swinging weight. I said, but you can't get a 12. If you're swinging a 12 inch, you can't go to a 13 inch because you're swinging the same thing. The balance points are different. So that's what I try to tell people. Like, it's gotten to the point where you just can't go over here. And you can go to Onyx. Yeah. You can't pick up a 26 because you swung a 26 ounce mic in. Because they're actually balance points are different. Yeah. So you're going to grab that bat. All the weight might be good. You might grab that bat, and all of a sudden, you're going to go, this bat sucks. And turn around and sell it for $150, $125, and the guy's going to shit. You guys are going to get good. I've seen that happen. It happens in the leagues. The, the leagues are sitting there looking at guys coming up. And all, they've got a new bat. This bat's not working for me. And I'm going to, how many swings? Well, I got 40, 50 swings on it. Really? Well, I'll sell it to you for 100 bucks. You're going, really? Okay, yeah, I'll take it. And you grab it and you look, strip off part of the, the uh, you know, the wrap, and then uh, get out there and start swinging, and you put about 100 swings on, you go like, nothing wrong with this bat, it's fine. Hey, yes. Uh, Blake, that's it. Tobias Deck, about his proton belt level. They can answer it. They, they got pretty good, haven't they? That's not even a, a small thing. Has he finally figured it out? Oh, I thought you were talking about, I thought you were talking about the ball bag that got Oh, I saw it. You yeah. can't miss it. Yeah. Yeah. Proton, they finally got it right. It's a very good bag. It's a very good bag. Now, if it's custom service, but I actually do something. It actually has a good purpose. It's custom service. It's custom service. So, I just want to meet you. I'm Gary. I know. I'm the best 82 year old player in the world. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. You guys gave us a real nice review with the spinners, and then I never saw your second review. Did you have a second review on this? Yes. Did you have the same opinion? Yes. Okay. Okay. But how fast you bat? I think if you know I'm, I'm, I'm in the I'm in the 65 inch. I put that bat in a higher back. So you did hard barrel. Hard barrel, yeah. So on the on the 65 inch minus, you're gonna have to have a softer barrel. So I was going to lean more towards the Mike Gill. That was going to be my next question. Because <laughs> you had Mike Gill right in my range, and I thought, yeah, Mike Gill out with one of that bat. Okay. okay, here's the deal about that bat. My guy, I put it on a high bat right. speed. My guys love that bat. Right. For balance bat. Well, if you get, like I just talked about, but you see my guys, and that's how come I surrender, I separated my other guys fast, medium, hard, right. and tall. Right. Well, a lot of you guys would make a mistake, like I put it up at the top the top five or top ten in balance bats. So you go out and get it, it's a bat we have to have on. So you get you like this is a piece of crap. Well no, it's it's not a it's just you can't compress that wall, especially a balance bat has no end load, you're not gonna compress that wall. Right. Mike Dill is the top of the line. Here's question then my wrist is where it ought to be. I've been swinging an 1818 26 in load. And that was what I, my MPH was based on. But I probably go up with either one of the other lists. Would I be more of a thing for 75? I swing hard. I'm quite. Right. If you were swinging, if you were swinging, okay, which, which, which Alan Tanner was it? Yeah. Because Alan Tanner on that two and that two and that two and more time, he was lower the hand weight than he did on his other one. Okay. That's why that bat performed really well and had a soft bill on it. Because it actually progressed that long because it was getting more pressure and more of a So what you, what, what you tell me, I don't know which Alan Tanner it was. Because all the other ones, I'm not the green blue one. one. The green, green and blue one. Green. Green. Yeah, oh, the green and blue one. The teal. The teal. The last one. When I can do a round before that back. So okay. Even the, even the balance of that round before that number one. Okay. That is what that was on his. That's what I had to do. The other, you can't find 
using all your bigger brain specs and there's the two and the two and the one charge. Right. Miami Dolphin color one that he had 13 half ounce barrel, soft ass barrel to the one half ounce in there. That was a hot ass I'm going to show you how I travel my life is in the village of Florida every night at 10 o'clock. I go online, I watch you, I see what cat you're going to talk about. You're, you put me to sleep at night. It's crazy. Did you buy these bad ears? No, he said I could come over and ask you about it. I'm going to make a break from the door here. What you do, what I would do, if I were you, is I would do that. I mean, King Harry actually did this with Mike Dill. Mike Dill. Yeah, okay. I would tell everybody, every 70 year old in here, because they're all 70s, I would go around and say, Mike Dill, everybody. Right, that's what I would do. If it, okay, here's the deal. If it's a, okay. Mike Dill, everybody. If you're a balanced guy, then if you come by the I would do a Johnny Bailey. I'm dead balanced. You want to swing it in? The new ones, not the old ones. Right. The old ones are shit trash. Right. The new ones become the new technology in the world of places. Definitely, yes. What about going to a, you're hitting it at 26, going to a 25 ounce, take some wear and tear off of your uh, wrist? The deal about the wrist, what I would do, I, would do, uh, I have wrist problems. I would get a wrist wrap, and go ahead and do the first thing I do, and I get a knee for the wrist wrap. The wrist wrap is a knee it's a big call. And that way it heats up the wrist. That's the big one. Keep it in it. Then I would go to a, uh, I'm just telling you what you're trying to do. I would go to a smaller back. Light hand, light hand, really, 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 The old Adidas, the old, the old Reebok, those old ones, those are the people that are the way to break distribution in the back. You can go lower in weight, still get great performance. You have that in mass, you have the light hand weight, it's going to press that wall. Right. That one, that's for kids, man. That's for the 40, 45. Hey, excuse me, but I'm, I'm pretty much a bad one. So I've yeah. already got a 25, 1818, 24 model order from Tanner. He's raving about it. I talked to him last night yeah. about it. He showed it to me. Yeah, I yeah. did. Yeah. And he's talking about it. Yeah. I don't care. Like he was he was talking to me about it. He's like, blah, 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 blah. I, I've been doing this for a long time. I don't even listen to the guys. I said, just get me one. Great. I'll put it on my Facebook Live, and then I'll talk about it. And then I'll hit it. It's good. I'll tell you what that is good. Yeah, that's why you're so real. You don't think you give me that. Well, right. here's the problem. You can deal with that. I got in trouble for it. Right. I got in trouble for it. And then a lot of companies disown me. And I didn't argue this with them. You know, 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 you look bigger on my left now. You know what you said? You look bigger on TV. I was I was somewhere in the was I made a turn. I was sitting down. I stood up and I said, I thought you were talking about it. I already did. I saw it. I'm just listening to this. Call. These are two of my best friends. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, I wear a brace. It helps. It helps. Get your back off. Get your back off. Yeah, let's break it in. You know, I had one. I had a roll. I had a roll. No, I would have broke down. I didn't know you were wooden hitting one for two days. I would have broke down there. My daughter lives right there in Colorado. She went to Woodlawn. Dave Norris and the boys. Yeah, I love going down there. I showed up late to like everybody. Oh, it's great, guys. Yeah, very nice to meet you. Thank you, sir. I'm seventy. <laughs> Good. Yeah. All right. It's seven years. I will not. I don't think I'll make it to seventy. I said I won't make it to sixty. And here I'm sixty, and I'm still playing. So I don't. I don't, I don't think I'll make it to seventy. I just, not because of my heart. Not because of my health. It's just my body. My body's not responding yeah. like it used to. Doesn't matter what kind of supplements I take. You know, my back. I can't swing heavy back with my back. Big and low. Yeah, I'm the guy that do it. Then I'll come in and swing a lighter back. I don't know if the guys know what I think about it. So I, in uh, December, I, I said, at Christmas time, I said, I'm going to quit drinking. Because I drink a lot of IPA beers and red wines and stuff. It's about 226. We're down to about 195 right now. And uh, all of a sudden, I'm playing faster and, uh, oh, yeah, and, just, and eating clean, you know, and all that. The deal about me is I'm heavy, like 245, so it takes a wear and tear. It I takes a lot of wear and tear. I feel rough myself. myself. Yeah. So I wear and tear on my body. I'm yeah. working too. I'm like, it's, I'm torn, I got a like, torn quad here. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 Big muscle come up here. This one's two across here. You can see the mouth in it. But this one's going to go. I already know. It's that middle muscle that's right here. Four or two years ago, I did this in Las Vegas and that in the world. Last game. Yeah. So, yeah. I know my body's not going to. Not well, I can see when you're walking around on video, oh. you can see you're struggling there. Oh. It's not it's not a, if you hear me talking real slow, yeah. I'm okay. I, I, I still got a big city guy. I want to hit balls up the middle. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like stumbling. Yeah. Even my guys go, don't hit me up the middle. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, 
know, once I got the injection, I was fine. I was good. Yeah. Well, uh, can I take a video and show you what we do and then send it to you? And let's just see what you think. You know? I'm going to get a hold of me. I mean, just get a hold of me. What you do is start videotaping. You send it to me, and I'll tell you what to do and what not to do. That's what I do with my other guys. They send me a video. And I said, okay, this is what I need you to do. They do it, send me another video. You know? They were they're talking to me last night because we all went out to eat. And they're talking to me about last night, like, hey, we're going to do some more video and we'll get it out to you this next week. So they picked up some new bags. Yeah. So I need, I, need, uh, I need all that. Yeah. All right. Hey, very nice to meet you. Sorry that I, uh, I interrupted you guys. <laughs> Uh, 
and I've seen it, guys. I sat in the stands yesterday, and I saw a bunch of shit. Your game especially. Yeah. And I thought it was one way. Somebody else was next. We thought it was another way. But at least get another umpire. We said, hey, I want to I wanna ask that he really did drop that ball. All in all, though, game, the umpires that we had, that real bad, they were pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah, they were yeah. good. But so they, the, the other thing, too, is as far as the time limit, you know, as I'm you know, just talking from a major plus perspective, is that we hit more home runs, we score more runs. Not time limit the same as a major, but scoring, uh, scoring less runs and less home runs. So it obviously takes our game longer to to, uh, to play because we score more runs. Yes. You know, so we, you know, another thing if you watch for our time limits is, you know, the umpires have all the balls got to go, go through them. It takes more time. They're writing everything down instead of putting the card in the pocket at the same time that way. Because you want to play seven days. You don't want to play. You're rushing to play five or six days. You want to play seven? Yeah. So you know, that's what the game's made to do. And we should be able to do that. See, I noticed yesterday at Big League Rings, that the umpire was still walking around, yeah. and the guys were going up. The, the, the pitcher was out there, they yeah. knew. Yeah. They think that way too, and they went, hey, let's go, let's go, yeah. let's go. And the umpire was messing with the ball, he couldn't get the ball. He's like, and he's yeah. out doing this stuff, you know, like right now on the bank. Yeah. And we're getting ready to pitch, and he's back down the back. Up. Not, guys, we're not saying all umpires are like this, we're really not. We're just saying, uh, it's, 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 when you're spending this money, I know umpires are shortage, but I, I, I said this in another podcast, pay your umpires better. You have quality umpires that will actually want to come out and make good money. So I think I think the umpire issue is not so much of people, they're getting their ass ripped. I think it's a lot has to do with money. Pay those guys damn good money. You have very, very good quality umpires. And then have somebody where you can talk about the umpires. Or, this guy sucks or that guy's not very good. And then weed some of those guys up if you're paying that kind of money. Weed some of those guys out and then start bringing better umpires in because they will umpire if you pay them. They will umpire. But if you're not paying them, they'd rather do other shit on weekends with their family and stuff. So I, that's what I think. No, but they were good. Like for us, you know, we didn't have, we didn't have much complaints. They are pretty consistent. They hustled. the best they could to have, you know, having a one-man system, you know. Yeah. That's, it's when I'm torn doing yeah, one-man system. Yeah, it's hard. So that's the deal, too. You have umpires out there. They can't run out every time. So you think they're going to play. I heard this, too. Back to back to back to back games. Yeah. So you know that first game, he's going to be running back and second game. Uh, it's, it's 100 degrees out here. 105 degrees. That umpire about the second game ain't running out no little more. Especially just running one of them. So I, two umpires going to take a lot of stress off the umpire behind the plate. And you guys are paying the money, and you're flying here. You know, we spent a, you know, fifteen hundred dollars a weekend. The number I came up with by myself, fifteen hundred dollars a weekend. You fly out here, and you get this. You know, you get one umpire. You know, and then when you make it to the finals, the other to do the finals, you still have one umpire. So in the finals, they actually the finals they went to two. Yeah, they went to two. The umpires. The the two good and two good umpires. Right? Yeah. The finals. But it was at the point they finally did it in the finals. Yeah. You know, which. Okay, hey, do it on the final day. You know, there's only three teams left. Why not put two for two umpires? Let me ask you this. What about the art ones? Um, for the most part, they're pretty consistent. They let, you know, they let it get away from the flat one a little bit yeah. more than I like. But, yeah. uh, but yeah, like all in all, I don't have any complaints of how they did our game. I really didn't have. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I didn't think we didn't have problems with calling people out and what you're talking about. Um, they did the best they could, you know, well, calls, but that's, that's part of it, you know. We make out, too. Yeah. Everybody makes mistakes, so it's all in all is good, but I think there should be two, and that's my thing. Um, yeah, they don't let them get it up high anymore. It's, it's, it's flat now, now, now. The, the thing that I saw yesterday, Bailey Graves, was a couple of things. Guys were pitching illegal and getting away with it. Yeah. You know, guys were shooting and getting yeah. away with it. Yeah. The umpires looking like, and, and the people yelling in the stands going, that's illegal, you can't yeah. do that. I think what that's what you would say, or any of these senior organizations, is that you're getting up, 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 other, you're getting up from other organizations to have, you know, different rules. 
and, and they're not, they don't really know the rules. So that's that's what I say. So that's on them. I mean, I mean, UICs, and that's that's what I say. Make sure you teach them what the mark is. You know, how far back you can go. Can you do? Can you not? You know, that's on, that's on, that's that's what I say. You know, it's not on the up part. Like, you're going to have somebody teach them. Yeah. And so, that's, that's, that's the key. That's what I know. Yeah. Nobody's telling them. Yeah. Actually, how how yeah. to do this? Like it, it's funny. Like in a few different few different things, you had to you, know, you were telling them what the rules were. You know that we know the rules better than them, and that's not their fault. That's their fault. Yeah. You know, or the UIC, like I said, that they have to. You know, they have to teach these guys. Tell them. You know, yeah. it's not hard. It's like, you know, so yeah, that's my. Opinion. It's kind of bad whenever. The guys do, and you go behind the plate and go, uh, and they can't do that. Yeah, yeah. You can't do anything yeah. to see us. Yeah. You know, that's like ASA. You yeah. can't do anything yeah. to see us. You, know, like, you know, I heard a guy the other day, we were playing this. What do you want me to do? Lay it in? Well, yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. You know, see your softball, you Unless you want to go to your trip. Yeah. Unless you want to go to your trip, you got to lay it in there. Yeah, here it is. Hit it. When I saw, when I saw Big League Green Series, they were so focused on the guy getting out of the box in big league greens. They weren't watching. They weren't watching the pitch. Yeah, yeah. So the guy would throw it way up yeah. there, and boom, you know, it would hit. He was too busy doing this. He would watch the release, but he would stick and do this and watch where they're going to hit. Where they're gonna swing. I don't understand what the big, you know, you play SSUS there all year. Whatever their rule is, because they don't know, you know, what's the, what's the rule? How far from the plate? You know, it's a true rule that. Boom, you gotta, your right foot's got to stay even with the top of the plate. As long as that, you're, you're in the box. It doesn't matter where your left foot, as long as you're not moving forward. So you got to protect your pitches, I understand that. So just make it so you can't move your feet. Maybe you move that right foot, then you can maybe call it out. But there's too much emphasis on that. Like when you call out eight or nine guys, or whatever the case may be, yeah. then that's the you know, they're thinking about that more than the strikes or the real game, or the real game. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, this is just me, I think, hitting the ball in the middle is more back here, I don't think it's more up here. I think you actually have to pull that ball if you're sitting yeah, I mean, I, 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 I stand it from the plate. But the thing is, like, here's how it is, and you're right, and I agree with you. Yeah. But when you're moving forward, that makes you five feet closer to the, so the, the react, if you do go from the middle, your reaction time is, is, yeah. is you know, when you're standing it's right on there, you know, yeah. so, you know, and we are getting older, so I, I don't have a problem with, you know, out of the box, but, they make a rule. Like, they don't have a rule. They, they say, well, I think you're out of the box. Like, that's their issue. Well, what's the rule? You're out of the box. I, say, you know, I think you're out of the box. Well, give me what the rule is. They don't know what the rule is. So, you know, make it a strong rule. Yes, it is. Whatever, whatever it is, and they go with it. Yeah. Like, my opinion is, have your right foot's got to be even the top of the plate. And then if it's that, and I think that's that's fair, you know. Yeah, I agree. But I, I but overall, Overall, guys, we're not saying anything about the pitchers. I mean, the pitchers, right? anything about the umpires. We actually think, and we agree on this, that there's a lot of good umpires out there. But then again, you see those umpires out here that shouldn't even be here, you know? And, and it, I think what SSUSA does, too, is they keep them away from these guys. They keep them away from the upper class, you know, major, major plus. But I was watching double A AA and triple A. And it was like, oh my, I, and, and they were getting chewed on, they were getting hard, you know, like because the guys in the stands know the, or the girls in the stands know the rules, and they would pop off and say something to him, and then he would turn around and talk to them, and, and that's, he should never do that as an umpire, and I've seen a lot of that. I'm not saying, that, you know, all of them, I'm just saying there's a lot of good umpires, but you see a lot of umpires that just don't know the rules, and they're not talking about the rules. And we had this argument, and I showed you that video from the past, where me and Bobby Gilbert were talking with an umpire about he can't, he can't make an approach to the pitcher twice in one inning, he's got to be pulled. Well, they did that in a crucial game, and I, I, we asked him, hey, you can't do that, he's got to be pulled. The umpire said, no, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's fast pitch. You can't, you can't do it fast pitch, no, that's, that's, that's wrong. And they went to the German director, the German director was, no, that's fast pitch. And we're like, uh, no, it's not. Uh, see, those guys, the German directors, at that at that park, didn't even know that. Right, right. And I got a call on, actually, I think I'll take the game, and I got a call on video, where he did say that. But that's not knowing. And the umpires are at disadvantage when they don't even know. Well, it's, it's, it's difficult, you know, 
to run that one man system. I, mean, I don't care what level is, you know, because you got to look at a lot of things. It's still, you know, senior softball, but it's still a quick game. So you really got to pay attention. And you're behind the plate, and everything's in front of you, but there's angles and this or that that, that you don't have the advantage. And, you know, oh, the, the biggest one. You know, the biggest one is the, the first base one. Yeah. When the pitcher, when the, when the first yeah. baseman's off an angle yeah. and he doesn't touch the plate, yeah. or he pulls, I mean, he doesn't touch the back, back. and pulls his foot. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I've seen that happen, we're going up by yeah. Because yeah. that guy back there doesn't see it, so he's got to make that call. Right. Or, or, or call calling the outfield. Yeah. 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 Call the outfield yeah. by a track ball. But all, but all in all, like for, you know, my three days here, and, you know, I was, my big pet peeve is we need a play and, the time limit really bothers me, right? and and because the umpires are never in a hurry. And that's all. The only thing I have really criticized the umpire is speed the game up. Like stop with the ball. Like you know, you had to give him the ball. We made a look at him and all that other stuff. And then a home run. You, they go back to the fence. They write it down. And, you know, uh, even warm up in between innings. Yeah, you don't need that. What, yeah. I don't see whether to take ground balls yeah. in between innings. Yeah. No, no, let's yeah. go, man. Let's do it. No, that's, that's my big thing, and that's that ball. It all seems to be ball. It's a time limit. Because it's not, you want to play, you get to play. You don't want, you know, you don't want to play a short game. I mean, I don't. I want to play a full game. That's my like year, you know. Well, that's what you pay your money yeah. for. Yeah, it's not cheap anymore, you know that. You know, so what do you get your money's worth? You know, so. Where do y'all go after this? This is it for us, buddy. Uh, you done? Yeah, we're done. And, uh, so I got a few moves to make, you know, when I see it, pretty happy with that year. We had a we had a good year, you know, we got beat by a real good team in the finals. And, uh, the JK's a good team, buddy. And, uh, well, I see him hit. They're yeah, they're good. good. They're real good. They're, they're real impressive. And if you're on, I mean, that's when I heard about some uh, some coach because yeah. somebody was telling me they weren't on. And, and they yeah. Weren't, they were really yeah, and they're a good team, too. Yeah, they're a good team, they, too. They, 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 they got the hot. They've got the I like how, you know, being a coach that I am, and, you know, looking at different teams and analyzing that. Like, watching a team like JK is, they have athletes, and even at 55, and so ultimately that's what I want to do when I look at a team. And every guy they had was an athlete. And, and, you know, you still got to catch it at this level. And every guy they had caught it. Oh, yeah. And, and what their advantage is to against a team like us is they play here, so... They're really good with their home runs. Where we're on the East Coast, you know, it's, it's lucky to walk the ball another fly like that. So they're real good with the home runs. And we got kind of been a few times, you know, not being good with our home runs. But, but they're impressive to play. They were, they were really good. They deserve to win. They're a better team than us. Yeah, they are. The one thing that I, I think I told you a few years ago is I like the way you manage the team. Because you run it the way I've had managers run in the past, or coaches run in the past, you run like a business. Yes. And I love that yeah. shit. I really do. You know, I have a military background or whatever, so I, you know, I'm very regimented in how I run it. Yeah. You know, I, you know, very, you know, I'm going to be on time, you're going to go to batting practice and all that, you're going to wear the same uniform and all that. And, and I just feel that, you know, we take a lot of time, we spend a lot of money, and ultimately, this is fun, it is, and it's a hobby and all that stuff that people say, but, you know, we're here to win, and we want to win, and I want to win, because for me, winning is fun, yeah. that, you know, fun is winning, and, like, this guy's a team that I'm friendly with, but honestly, if, if I was just coming to have fun, I wouldn't be coming here, I'd be going to the beach with my wife, and sitting there and getting a sunburn, like you guys did, you know, <laughs> you know that's what I would be doing, yeah. you know, and enjoying my time here, so for me, Winning is, is what it's all about, and, uh, you know, it's fun to manage. It, it has its highs and lows. It's, you know, you, you make a move here, it doesn't work, you know, you don't know what you're doing. You know? and, but I enjoy it, it's tough, and, but I got, you know, I got 12 good guys that, that are good people, that ultimately are good people, so it makes it easy to manage them, you know, so I don't have any scumbags or anything like that. I mean, it's, so for me, it's... It's easy and I enjoy it. Yeah. Because you have to enjoy it. We'll play at that level, yeah. Yeah, you have to enjoy it. You have to enjoy putting the time in. And you got to have the time in the room, which I do. And, you know, for some people in my life, it'll be a little mad at me because I take time away. But, but you know, she understands. And, uh, well, that's the, that's the key, too. I'm lucky with my wife. Yeah. I can play so much. Yeah. I played at the highest level for years. Yeah. And that's what we met on softball. Yeah. So she, when I do my stuff, I better play than you. Oh, hell yeah. yes. 
Hell yes. Pretty yeah. good. Another way, way better. Yeah. 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 I'll take your problem. Let's get focused on the Okay, right. <laughs> I got to bust your balls a little bit. I'm going to bust your balls a little bit. But in the field, I mean, I, that's one thing. I, but she did put in the work, too, yeah. back in the day. Yeah. So she was one of the best shortstops in the third base. Yeah. I was going to Even against guys, yeah. she was up there. About I think, too, is like a... If that goes a long way, I mean, you know, it, it doesn't get any easier at our age as far as when you go away with your family and your wife and your kids or whatever. You know, so you got to have understanding. And, you know, it's, it's a sacrifice on both sides. And, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, hopefully it, it, it's worth it in the end. You know, to me, it was. It is. Yeah. So I can still learn. enjoy it. See, that's, that's, that's whenever I got out of it, whenever I got out of playing at that level. Yeah. I, I still, like, I moved down, and I still miss a little bit. Yeah. You know? I've played for so many years, yeah. and now I'm out playing with the guys, and I do miss the competitive yeah. that I saw yeah. yesterday. Yeah. I saw you guys playing, and I'm like, man. Yeah, you want to be there. I want to be there. You know, it's, it's funny. I tell people, like, so I'm flying home tonight, and I'll be here tomorrow morning or whatever. I'll be driving home, and I still like I'm here, so I have that high going on. Like, I'm still high. And then I'll get my car to turn up and I'll be on 295 and come to Rhode Island and I'll be driving. And all of a sudden, it's like I go into this depression thing. There's no weekend coming up, you know? So You're done. I'm, I'm done. I'm like, oh, what? You know? So, you know, usually if I come back Monday, I'd be at the gym like tomorrow afternoon. I'll be doing my laundry, I'll be napping. I'm not a big because I got nothing coming up, you know? But, uh,. You know, it's it's an important part of my life. I mean, you know, as it is, you know, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I've, I've met some great people like yourself and, and had some great experiences. And Dave, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, and we can still do this at our age, you know. And but one thing I like about you, what you did yesterday, they just lost a tough game. So I walk over there, and he's he is sitting there, right? And a lot of coaches aren't this way, I'm telling you. But he said, you know, I walk over there and shook his hand. You can tell he's like, what could I have done different? Like, we already, already analyzing the game. The next game is fixing to be played. So now he's already saying, he's thinking about what he should have did, and he's going to press it to the next game. Like, he's already thinking way ahead of everybody else, and I saw that yesterday. And I'm like, okay, he has passion. That's passion. Because I've talked to coaches that have won that, that lost in that position, and they're like, Okay, you know, we're just y'all guys gotta hit. No, it was like he took all the all the loss on the him, not on his guys, but it was on the him. He started thinking about how he can go yeah. and see the next thing. And I saw that when you yes, talked about because uh, you were pissed, you were mad. Oh yeah, but bad. not at the guys. No, you were mad about what? what yeah, I mean, I you know I. You know, I definitely wasn't mad because of the effort, because we always play hard. And, you know, that's one thing about us. We're always, you know, we're ready to play. I just, you know, I was mad at myself. I thought that the move that I could have made that I didn't. You know, so I played myself as far as that. And, you know, I, it's just I don't like losing at any cost. And, it, and it's difficult, but what, what's that? Yeah, yeah, it is. And then, you know, when you're, when you're competing against those teams, you know, you really, you gotta let that go. You learn from your mistake and boom, you move on to the next game. And, and you know, you, it's, it's, it's fun, buddy. It's, even though it's competitive, you get pissed off and you're, you lose your mind and all that, it really is fun. It's, you, know, you find out a lot about yourself, even that if I got out, you know, at 60 years old, I'm still learning about myself, what my people really are, you know, if, what I'm good at, what I'm not, you know. Dealing with different people, how to deal with that, and you know, so it, that keeps me going too because you know you, you know, you learn it at our age. And, you know, that's pretty cool too. You know, another thing, another thing that we talk about that that I do and Candy would do every year is he has a shoulder problem now, so he's got a torn labrum. My son had the same that torn labrum in football, so he's, we we're kind of bouncing what we're going, what he did, how he came back, how fast he came back. So he's already thinking about next year hitting the weights. Yeah. Changing nutrition, getting bigger, stronger, faster, but he's got to take care of his shoulder first. Torn labrum is an orthoscopic, so he's, gonna, he's not going to be out that long. You know, go in there, go to rehab. So he's already thinking about when he gets home. He didn't have any more tournaments going on, so when he gets home, he'll have that have that shoulder yeah, scope. Yeah, done as quick as I can. So hopefully, I'm coming back here in two weeks, like I can know, and then you know by the middle of October, I should have have surgery. Again. I'll be right at it, buddy. You know, yeah, I'll do whatever I have to do. Therapy, yeah. you get back because you can't fix a torn labrum. That's another thing too. That's one of those things. Like if you torn your rotator, torn in half, 
you know, you, you've got to get it fixed. Hard laser, you got to do what you do to get it with the Orange and Scott, like what they did to our son. And he was back playing football. He's tired of it right now. And, but he's also 19 years old. But, and we're not there, so we have to put in the extra work. You know, we got to take these extra supplements to actually heal better, heal faster, and come back the next year better than what you were this year. Yeah, I'm doing that. Because you are a nutrition guy, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty good at that stuff, too. Yeah. You know. But you got to be. You have to be at this, you know, like, pretty good at nutrition. My wife's pretty good at, at that kind of stuff. It helps me. You know, she, uh, she's pretty strict. I'm not stopping at McDonald's. And if I am, but she's not knowing about it. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, you know, I, you know, I do a lot of supplements and, uh, I'm in the, you know, I'm in the weight room, I'm in the room every day. You know, not as much weight as I did before, but, you know, I'm working the turf every day and, yeah. you know, running, stretching, you know, dynamic warm up stuff, a lot of band work and stuff like that. I mean, 245 pounds, I'm still pretty strong, so. No, I still bad lift and I still squat a little bit. But See, that's what, like, I don't do any kind of heavy weight. Yeah. No, 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 you don't have to do bands, yeah. like you're talking yeah. about. All that stuff, that yeah. light workout yeah. with explosive movements. It's like a kabuki bar, you have to squat and try that. No. That's that new bar, the, the squat bar, the bar is held right. Yeah. It's a regular bar, but you can handle the air most of all. Yeah. Yeah. So everything stays where it has. So I've been using that. Belt squats. Yeah. yeah. You get the pressure yeah. off my back. Yeah. 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 Belt squats are pretty yeah. good, too. I've been cheap like 25 pounds. So my gym won't touch it by itself. So I'm on the Kabuki bar, which is really good for my back. It keeps everything, you know, tight inside. Yeah. You know, because as you know, you want to keep everything tight. Yeah. In the shoulder, inside the shoulder. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you got to eat right. You got to get your protein in. Especially at our age, being like, you know. So, so sugar, stay off the yeah, carbs. Stay, yeah. stay away from sugar. Yeah, stay away from sugar yeah. and carbs. And listen, I had a real sweet tooth for a long time. And uh, so I said, you know what? This summer, I'm getting off the candy. Like, I like hot tamales and like night and all that shit, right? So yeah. I've been, so I've been, I say this, I've been sober for three months, like all, all that shit, right? You know, because, like, I would come, I would come to a tournament like this, and I go to, you know, I go to, what I do is, when I, when I land, I go right to Target, and yeah. I get my, you know, I get, you know, I get some yogurt, I get some rice cakes, and I get, you know, water, and, you know, apple cider vinegar, and, yeah, they're not that either, I'm good at that, and then I would get, like, a pound and a half of Mike and Ice, and I would just pick out of like all, oh. and I know, you know, at our age, here, we have information and all that stuff, so, so I finally said, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to quit, and I haven't had either for three months. Peanut M&M for five. Oh yeah. my God, I yeah, was just like, like yeah. even, and then finally I said, I'm, I'm yeah. going on the wagon, I'm not going to do this Yeah, so it's been, yeah, I've been sober for three months on uh, Mike and, and, and Ice. And it's funny, I count my days down yeah, too, and yeah. how long I've been on, you know, on, on Peanut m and So yeah, I mean, you just, you know, as you know, at our age, you know, if you want to keep playing and feeling good playing, you, you know, you got to watch your, you know, you got to watch your diet. You know, watch, you know, I don't drink, but you know, some guys like a bit, but you got to keep that lactic acid out here, you know, at our yeah. age, you know. And, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's all part of it. it. Keeps you young, you know, it keeps you looking as good as you can at our age, you know. Yeah. And, you know, so like, you know, like my girlfriend says, you know, hey, you know, if you get out of shape, I'm going to trade you, trade you with for a young, younger virgin of you, so you better stay in shape. And if she's watching this, I'm going to get a pause right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah so. that's, that's, that's the reason I work out right there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Hey, whatever it takes, you know, whether you know, it's your wife that's or whether it's long yeah. fall, because it's going to extend your life. Ultimately, that's what you want to do. Is, yeah, get your you ass know, off the couch. Yeah, you want to come out here and go to the beat, go to the pool and enjoy it. Feel good about yourself and, and you know, all that stuff, you know. And that's all part of it. That's all part of it. And, you know, that's what keeps me going, you know. And the shit, like, it's nice. You want to look for it, too. I mean, yeah. you know, you want to yeah. be able to, you know, put on a good, good shirt and a pair of shorts and, and look good. And, you know, I still have, like, a little bit of ego that I want to still look pretty good. You yeah. Know, so. I agree. Yeah. Everybody yeah. does. Yeah, that, that is in that position, too. Yeah. I mean, times have changed. I, I was talking to my mom, who's 87, and I said, Mom, you know, what was it like when you were, like, my 60s year it looked like you, you know. Yeah. You know, we, we, were, we were smoking and we were drinking and we were doing this and that. And it's, uh, you know, it's different the time to change. And, 
know. It's a lifestyle too, you know. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, that's you, have to change. you actually got to change everything. So this, that's what I teach my kids too. Yeah. That my son is powerless, and I said it's a lifestyle change. This yeah. stuff you're gonna do the rest of your life, and yeah. it's gonna add 20 years on your life. Yeah, absolutely. It's gonna add yeah. 20 years on your life. You know? and, it's, and it's a good addiction, you know. And I say that because it is addiction, it, but it's a good one. You yeah. know, when you know you get into that routine and you make a part of your life. You know, whether you go at five in the morning or you go at five at night. You know, and, and it just, it's an addiction and it's a positive thing. Yeah. My kid walks around without a shirt on and you can just, he's like yeah. 19 years old and he's getting big. Yeah. And he starts doing all this and looking at like, oh, stop in front of the parent and start. But that's the addiction. You, yeah. you see yourself yeah. really changing yeah. and you're changing everything. And like, damn. You I know? mean, I see you guys have pictures of him and stuff on Facebook and he gets after him, buddy. You know, like, that's you know, that, at that age, like, you know, I'm sure you weren't. I wasn't. You know, we go and we had the little plastic weights on our little big old bay bench. And oh, you remember? Hey, hey, hold on. You remember that thing that you do? And it had the, the springs, the yeah, springs on it? Yeah. Remember that? Remember that? Are the, the, uh, the arm blaster? Yeah, the arm blaster. Yeah, we stick that up in here. Yeah, and all that. Yeah. yeah. They still have, I still see them. I, I, saw, I know. I, I see people use them in jail. But I remember, I think yeah, I had like a... And a sense of like 10 pound cement weights, you know, plastic. Cement, and, yeah. And you couldn't drop them because then they would break and shit and they would move and stuff like yeah, that. I mean, that shit. hey, listen, they, they, they have a good opportunity, you know, you know, kids, your, your son, they, they have a great opportunity, to, you know, to, to do that and to get that addiction, get that positive addiction, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's been a good. Fine. 16 isn't as bad as I thought. When I turned 16, I, I had a tough day, you know, I was like... Really? Yeah, I did. It was, you know, 50, I was okay. You know, 40, it's okay. When I had 16, buddy, when I turned 16 in January, I had a... It was a... You know, like, damn, hey, I'm 60. I'm 60, I'm close to the... You know, that's funny. Yeah, into 100, right? We're yeah. at a 65. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The manager's made 65 and 70. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I know. Don't get up there, you say I'm young compared to these guys, you know. <laughs> but listen, I, at, at 65, I hope I'm here, you know. And, oh, yeah. You know, and playing and, and enjoying it. And like, I look around, I look at these guys, and I'm impressed like some of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, they're Wait, taking care of themselves. Yeah, like, well, one guy came up earlier and said he takes care yeah, of himself. Yeah. What was he, 60? Yeah. He's 72 yeah. or something like that. 70, right? Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Damn. I don't know if I'll make it. You make it, I don't know if I'm making How old are you now? 62? <laughs> 63. Yeah, I know what you did. You know how old I am. Yeah, you're a little lower. I always do that shit. Make you feel good. Make you feel good. <laughs> how old are you? 39? 35, I said the other day. 35. She's 53. Are you 50, 55? 54. And she, too, takes care of herself. She yeah. works out. Yeah. You know? It takes about a handful, two handfuls of supplements every day. Oh, oh yeah. You know? Yeah. You, you move there. around every day, you do something every day. Yeah. She got a bike in the house, she does walks, she walks, she Well, my own. Well, yeah. Right. But she's got weights in the room. I'm parked with my weights in the garage. Yeah. But she has her weights in her room that right. she does work out. But the biggest thing is, she gets out a lot. She she's not at home. She's not she's not laying around the house. Basically, right. she's out doing shit. If I don't want to go, then you know she goes right. to the mall, walks around, does all right. kind of shit. Right. She takes supplements like you would not believe. Right. Right? She probably takes more than me. Yeah. Vitamin yeah. D, K two, magnesium. Well, she did magnesium yeah. last night. It really helps you with your sleep. Yeah. So all that, all that good stuff. Yeah, you know, my girlfriend too. Like, like the bottles are lined up. I look at them. Like I can't pronounce half the shit. Yeah. Hey, how, what is this? And then I close into the. Yeah. No, so. The collection, I mean, all the girls, the women are like this big one, and she has a beautiful collection, but always for the hair, for the collection, you know, yeah. all those vitamins that actually come with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, it's that's, important, buddy. It's got important. To, yeah, absolutely. It's like, we're still, like, in today's world, we're still young, even though sometimes we think we're old. We still, we still have a lot of time left, hopefully, you know, so why not enjoy it? Why not be able to move around? Like, you know, like I told you earlier, I was talking to my mom, and, like I'm at 60, they, they could barely walk up my stairs. Like, you know, I'm out, you know, we're out enjoying it, take home for walks. And, like, we were in D.C. like a month ago or whatever, and, uh, you know, we walked, walked the whole city. I feel like, like, you know, you know, who's still at 60? You know? She texted me. Okay, so they're here. Now they lost out yesterday. Now they're out here doing shit. Well, hell, Kirby. 
No, you said that before the podcast. You get on the podcast, you start like going. I'm like, this son of a bitch, lie. Yeah. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
There's like three people watching. How many days are you selling this weekend? Oh, we sold a lot. We sold a lot more grades. <laughs> oh, what? You, you got a 26 in this? How you doing, Dave? How you doing, buddy? Wig popper. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Short porch. Y'all packing up already? Shit, everybody leaving already, dude. Look, they're already checking stuff it, down. It, it came and it went. That's that's your biggest salesman person right there. I, I, I might, I might, what is this? That's the mega. Okay, I bought a 26 five. I might come by and get a 25 five. Yeah, four of them. 25 fives? That, the way those handles are loaded on that, that's going to be a good bat. If the barrel is like a Suncoast barrel. I got the twenty. Did I get the twenty-five five or twenty-six five from you? Oh, did I get the twenty-six six five or twenty-seven five from you? Do you remember? Uh, I went heavy on the other one. I did get a 26.5. I did a 26.5. On the on the orange one, I got a 27. A 27.5. Do they come in half ounces too? They don't. Like that. What is that? A 25 pounds? Yeah. Oh, quit it. 
That's but that's good though. That's good. That's how come I want. But I would go down. I would go down. Yeah. Yeah. I would go down and wait. That's how come I did the numbers on it. I think the end weight was 17, 17 three, and then it was nine on the hand, nine two on the hands. Yeah. And I go, I might have to go. That might be for my guy, other guys, but not for me. I got to go. Mike Bullock and Steve, look at Steve Hamlin. Yeah, but it's hard to teach people that shit, too. <laughs> that's that stuff. That's day, yeah. Emily, get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, I got something crazy to tell you. Can I, can, yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, Mr. Vega. How are you? I'm doing good. All good? All good. How are you doing? I'm awesome. You sell a lot of those gray ones? We did. We sold a lot of the gray ones. <laughs> turquoise, too? The turquoise ones, believe it or not, even though, like, people, because everybody's like, the gray one, the gray one, the gray one. Dave said the gray one, right? But people are like, hey, this, this feels, doesn't feel as heavy. And I'm like, you'll hear him talk about it later, guys. It's See, that? I did that review in two days. Exactly. And here's the deal, is. too, about that review is, we killed those bats. We tortured them. Yeah, yeah. We didn't do what we didn't hit spinners at the beginning. No, you guys. We, we just went in them. and started hitting them. And I said, we got to get this review out fast. Let's go ahead and get them out there. Did Bubba hit the car? Was that with, with the great bats? He hit it. He hit it in the middle of the parking lot. No, the middle of the street. But he hasn't reached that distance in years. But did he hit a car? No, that's another video. Oh, I was like, that's from a long time ago. Oh my that's god, that's from a while back. <laughs> And they were, yes, they, dude, that guy hit and he, he slammed his brakes off, thought he'd been shot at. So that's why he, he called, called the up. helicopter. The helicopter came in, it was Bear County. And they started flying around, and then all of a sudden, he got to get the cops out. When we left, we went driving down the road to go eat. He was running after us on the phone, going, they're leaving, they're leaving. And I'm like, see you later. Cops can't do anything. They can't. They can't it's do a park. Nothing. It's a park. Yeah. You know, go down. The city can't do anything we, because we, you're driving on the road. We get people who park. Like right behind the fence, it's 340 feet. It's a baseball field, but they park right behind the fence, and I'm like, "What are you doing? Like, why would you park your car there?" And then they get hit, and they're like, "Hey, you know, and like it's a fucking baseball field. Why would you park your car?" There? Yeah. But uh, we we killed, we tortured the bats. We didn't break them. And these ones we got, we're gonna actually break in. Like we're gonna do hit it the them. right way. Yeah. Do it the right way. Yeah. And then then we're gonna hit them. Shit. I can have that review without within a week. I'd have it out before the tournament's over. The teaser was so good. The teaser was so good because everybody came and said, hey, and of course the white bat, right? Everybody yeah. said, the white bat, the white bat. They said, no, it's not going to be out. Oh, not gonna release it. we went to eat with David last night. Dude, he wanted the white bat. Yeah. Oh, you don't know how many guys Dude. wanted it. And then one guy says, do you think that the Velasquez is not going to send me the white bat? I said, no, he's not going to send No, <laughs> no. Uh, David wanted it last night. I was like, nope, nope, you're not going to get it. I yeah. said, you can meet me tomorrow night. I'll probably give it to you, but I don't know where I'm going to be. <laughs> I gave you the white one. Yeah. But we're going to hit that one, too. And I actually thought about the white one when you gave me the 25. I'm like, okay, that's going to be, because it's not 17 on the end. It's probably going to be a 68. 68 yep. yeah. So I'm like, in your hand, we might be the if same. If you go one. out there and that white one, you just kind of like, 
like every time the guys hit to give them a break, okay, hit the white one five times. Yeah. You know? That way they kind of split up. But the problem is once they start hitting the white one, they're not going to want to put it down. It's that white one is girl. fun. It's so fun to swing. I Don't get me wrong. I I love swinging that bat, but it ain't for Bubba's or, you know, John's. I mean, it, Clems. It, it ain't for them. No. That's how come they're not going to swing. That's how come they're not, yeah. that's how come they're not going to touch it. Yeah. You know? Trash mouth, don't say anything because I'm still on Facebook Live. I got I got I'm not talking about Tammy either. Tammy doesn't have a trash mouth. I'm talking about this other girl over here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I got a couple more here that I want you to take a look at. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button right down here below and i also have a membership channel it's that little join button that you have right down here click on it and it actually has a small video in there that explains everything in the membership plus it actually helps support what we do thanks guys